Welcome. This is a quick instructional video on how to submit online using the City of Santa Clarita Building and Safety e-service portal. From your browser, we're going to go ahead and enter santa-clarita.com forward slash building. That will take you directly to the Building and Safety website. We're going to scroll down to where you would normally see the e-service link. Contact Building and Safety. Right here is our normal spot for the e-service link. As you may have noticed at the top of our screen, there is a yellow banner. This is here to help get through the process a little bit quicker um, or get you to the links a little bit quicker during the COVID-19 emergency. So you can link to the city's e-service system here or here directly right now. I am going to go ahead and do that through our normal process down here, however. So if you go to contact building and safety, there's the e-service link here, apply for a new permit or view the status of a permit. We're gonna click that. And that is gonna take us to the city of Santa Clarita citizen access side. So I'm going to register for an account as a new user. So we're going to click on the register for a new account here at the top. And then it says account registration. You will be asked to provide the following information to open an account. Choose a username and password. Enter personal and contact information and license numbers if you are registering as a licensed professional. If you're a contractor, make sure you have your license number and your expiration date handy because you will want to enter all of that information along with workers' comp if you have it at that point. We also have a disclaimer here, so please read that in its entirety. Once you are done reading all of that, you will want to click, I have read and accepted the above terms. Then you will want to click on the Continue Registration button. Okay. So here you want to enter your account information. So you're going to create a username. So I am going to be awesome customer two. Customer Santa dash I'm going to enter a password. And then you're going to pick a security question. Live. Okay. Enter your contact information here. You'll want to click on the Add New button. So now we're going to enter our contact name. It. Put in the city, state, zip code, and then you want to put in your business phone number here. You can put a secondary phone, a cell phone if you'd like, and then your email. It can be the same email as your username. Okay, and then you'll want to click continue. Okay, so now you have been added successfully. Your information is there and you want to continue the registration. All right, your account has been created successfully. So right now you can log immediately in using the username and password you just created. We're going to do that. Apparently, it is case sensitive, so please note that. All right, so if you had 
records already set up or permits set up, you would be able to see them um, from clicking on your My Records. And right now we are going to click on our building because that'll take us to the building and safety submittals. So you go ahead and click on building and you have three options here. You can create an application, you can search existing applications, or you can schedule an inspection once you've already had your permit issued. So we're going to go ahead and create an application. So again, we have a disclaimer here. So you want to read through that thoroughly again. Click on I have read and accepted the above terms once you finish reading and you'll click the continue application button. I just wanted to go over this page with you because Sometimes this is a confusing area, so I wanted to make sure that I could bring some clarity to it. So we have two options. You can see them right here. We have building permits and we have online permits. This is a quick description of what is included in building permits. So we have a building combo permit or an MEP permit. The building combo permit would be used for residential and commercial submittals and that would be for anything that combines all trades and has other construction. So that would be tenant improvements, that would be kitchen remodels that have, you know, you're changing a wall, moving a wall, and doing mechanical electrical plumbing. You're gonna do an addition, which would include maybe some mechanical and electrical, maybe no plumbing, maybe all three of those, maybe some sewer work. You're gonna do a re-roof. Um, a patio cover, a block wall, anything that is going to, that's going to build something. So anything that has that type of construction work would be a building combo permit. The MEP permit, uh, that permit is for things that are mechanical, electrical, plumbing only. That would be mechanical, would be an HVAC change out. So if you're going to change out your air conditioner or your FAU, you'll want to pull a mechanical, an MEP permit. If you are going to replace just the ducting along with your air conditioner, that would be a mechanical permit. If you are going to install solar on your residential rooftop, that would be an MEP permit. If you're going to install a battery wall to an existing PV system, that would also be an MEP permit. So I just wanted to clarify kind of the difference in those two. Then we have another option down here, which is online permits. We have four specific online permit types and online permits can be issued immediately. They don't have to be submitted and reviewed by staff. Those are immediate online permits and that would be an electrical panel upgrade, a repipe permit, a water heater change out permit, and a water service permit. The caveat with these is that you they're single use. You can only do an electrical panel upgrade. You can only do a repipe. You can only do a water heater. And you can only do a water service. So if you're going to do a combination of things or that's part of a larger scope of work, you definitely want to choose one of the building combo or MEP permit options from above. I am going to click on the building permits just to give you kind of a quick idea of what that will look like. And again, you pick between your building combo permit and your MEP permit. If you are confused, feel free to look up here, okay? Or you can always call our office at 661-255-4935 and get some assistance on which one to select if you're confused. So you wanna click on building combo permit if you're doing something like a patio cover, a re-roof, a block wall, and then you would continue your application I just wanted to give you a little hint on this. So when you're entering your project information location, less is more. So if you put in your street, I'm gonna use the city of Santa Clarita's city hall address for this, just for a sample. If you put in the address, the street number, and just the street, not everything, not Valencia Boulevard, not the unit number, not city, state, anything. If you put in just the street number and just the street name and you hit search, it will return every possible option that we have for that, that address in the system. So you can pick if it's unit 100, 110, 140, 200, etc. So you have options there. 
So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a hint here. You don't have to put in the whole thing. If it's Valencia Boulevard, that's okay. Just put in Valencia. If it's Vista del Canon, that's okay. Just put in Vista. Less is more and just do street number, street name, hit search, and that should come up. Um, if you have issues, let us know. You can always call our office. If you're trying to search by just a parcel number, it may not find you because our system is set up not to take parcel numbers if there's no assigned address to, for submittal. So if you have that issue, um, please definitely call us at 661-255-4935 and we'll be able to help you through that. So this was just a quick guideline to get you set up and get you kind of started on walking through the system. This concludes our instructional video. For additional questions or assistance, please contact our office at 661 255-4935.